obviously I couldn't come to Dorset and not take uh, an image of Durdle Door. However, we got here for sunrise and there was very little cloud in the sky. So the time now is about 15 minutes after sunrise. So I couldn't really utilize the sky with all its color because it just quite frankly didn't appear. And we're at quite a low tide at the moment. The tide is coming in, but I would have preferred the tide to be a lot higher. That way you can get the tide coming in from the right hand side of the frame and still have separation between the arch. Because at the moment, if I go too far down, then it closes up the actual archway on Durdle Door. So I do think for me, this is going to be more of a just a, a holiday snap and a, and, a, and a record shot. Now I have to admit, I am going for the, the long exposure here. And what I've got, I've got these two peaks here on the, on the right hand side. But the vast majority of this image is actually negative space. So it's fairly simple. I've got the, the top of the, of the cliff on the, on the upper third. Um, and then I've got the edge of the furthest cliff on the right hand third and then yeah the rest of it is negative space i'm on f9 30 seconds and iso 100. Well, I think we're gonna have to shoot home, get a change of clothes. Oh, I can't even see. And then reconvene this in an hour. That's come down so quick and we are just not prepared for this. Wanna shake the ground, wanna break away, let loose. I'm tired of waiting, gonna make Shout to me and you to write a story. Wanna shape the new? Do you wanna? Do you wanna come along with me? Well, good morning. I'm back up on top of the cliff. I'll probably put it in a part of this video that we was here yesterday. But yesterday it was blue skies, very high sun, extremely harsh conditions, um, and I wasn't. I wasn't totally convinced with this composition yesterday um, and if I'm honest with you I, I'm still not 100% convinced about it yet but the light may may play ball for me and it really might come to life so I thought it was worth the early start and the 35 minute hike from the car park to the edge of this cliff here um, now at the moment it's about 10 minutes before sunrise so i would have thought if i was going to get any colors any real colors it's going to be about now but there is a very heavy low lying cloud there so i don't think that's going to light up obviously as you can probably see on the camera there is some weak oranges just above the horizon um, but in a little while you know that sun may come up and it may catch the underside of that cloud i really don't know well i have to say that cloud is looking really nice um, i don't have as much in my image as probably you guys are are seeing i'm shooting at i'm shooting at about 30 mil and i'm guessing you guys with 11 mil you're probably at about 20 mil at the moment so you guys are looking at a, a lot wider scene than i am i really like these sea stacks down here and i like the way that the ocean is hitting the the stacks 
and then there's all the white waves going around the outside so I could have put the 16 to 35 on I could have gone wider but I just felt it was getting too big so I think I'm quite happy with this composition but I do like the clouds in fact the clouds have really surprised me I, I was thinking that possibly that by being a low cloud it was just going to look kind of quite dirty in the image but um, the, the, the light is catching it quite nicely in, in little little ripples so um, yeah unfortunately it's just started to move across so I, it's a, on the right hand side here I don't know if you can see it if I move my head out of the way yeah on the right hand side there it's um, it's very light it's a shame I just, it would be nice if that cloud was even all the way across but there you go that's okay I've taken a few images so uh, so yeah all I've got to do now really is um, is wait for the for the Sun to come up possibly now and see if I can use one of them images to light up some of the stacks down here it's getting very bright now over just beyond that peak and that's where the Sun's just about to rise so what I've done I've put the camera on f22 now so what I'm hoping is that when that Sun just gets just above that peak I'll take an image and by being on f22 I might be able to get some some nice Sun spikes radiating from the uh, from the cliff over there so it's just something to play around with something that may work say something that may not work but it's just another photo to, to have so obviously I've got more options when I get back to post the Sun's just the Sun's just risen but there is a, a really small band and I'm gonna lose that Sun to the cloud soon so I've got to try and get this image yeah it's not really lighting up any of the foreground yet that Sun needs to be just a little bit higher but I do think that um, sorry yeah I do think that I'm gonna lose that Sun to the cloud and not quite get the light on these rocks the way I'd hoped for yeah not quite not quite enough light and that Sun now is just dipping or just going above the cloud so uh, yeah I don't know now I don't know with this one I had high hopes a little while ago just before that Sun got up but uh, yeah we'll see we'll see Well, I've got the the long lens on now and I, I can still utilize some of the sky because it is still glowing orange even though it's a good 45 minutes now after sunrise and I'm just going to be taking these images as I'm chatting to you guys as well now it's very windy up here so I've had to raise my ISO up now up to 640 and that's given me a 20th of a second and really at 70 mil that may still be a little bit slow uh, in fact what I might do I might even change this ISO up to up to a thousand and let me just see what that gives me right that gives me a 50th of a second so I think I am gonna stick with that I don't want any any camera shake really now I would have liked to have swung the camera around a little bit more to the left to get some separation between that really large rock that's in the foreground or that large stack I should say but the beach to the left hand side of that is dry the tide is out at the moment so it's not quite reached that that side and I just felt that that looked a little bit messy so I've moved the camera slightly round to the right and the the furthest rock is just beyond the uh, the, the right hand third of the image I think it still works okay I, I will play around with with some of these uh, settings as well just to uh, 
just to see if I can improve it but at the moment and if I do I'll put it up on the screen but at the moment I'm on f7.1 about 70 mil ISO a thousand one over 50 and I've just focused on that large stack in the foreground Right, well I think I'm going to end this video now, sitting at the top of Lulworth Cove before I make my way down onto the shoreline there. And just to let you know, walking along that beach, that isn't easy. There are thick pebbles there and you're constantly sinking as you're walking. So yeah, give me a, a grassy cliff or a fell or a mountain any day of the week. That is tough. So I'm going to end this video. I'm going to say thank you ever so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, then please consider subscribing and tapping that little notification bell for our future videos. But until next week's video, see ya. Gotta restless